the nervous system is the part of our body that tells us when we're in danger, when we're in fight or flight, or when it's safe to, to relax. And what we know about, about memory specifically is that it lives in the visual side of the brain. So when it comes to processing traumatic memories, sometimes conversation alone isn't all that effective. It can be. There's lots of ways to process trauma, but some people find that it's challenging to address like the physical symptoms of trauma, right? The body being on, on very high alert, just doing that with conversation alone. So the things that can be really effective, and this is known as kind of a bottom-up approach, is addressing the body first. So that could mean different kinds of somatic practices, movement, um, yoga, exercise, but it can also mean working with the visual. So making images about something is a way of beginning to process a memory or perhaps a traumatic experience that not necessarily is with, with words, first of all. I mean, conversation and verbal exploration comes with it, but I find sometimes sometimes when a person's in talk therapy, they'll be describing an experience, but they're kind of conscious of what they're describing, right? You kind of know what you're saying as you're saying it. Mm -hmm. Whereas what often happens in an art therapy session is someone will start creating, they'll stand back and they'll say, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that I'd use that color or that shape. And that reminds me of this thing or this thing. Like there's a capacity for our unconscious to, to communicate with us through visual media and bring things forward that perhaps verbally are harder to access. If that makes sense. Oh my gosh, that does make sense. So you're saying conversation comes from our conscious mind. So it's like everything we're aware of, but obviously with trauma, there's a lot of stuff we buried down that we either you know, either consciously or unconsciously buried down. And so through art, it can, it can come out and surprise you in a way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So there's kind of two, two ways to think about, about processing trauma top down, which refers to moving through like a cognitive type of therapy, discussing and making sense, kind of checking in about whether or not something's true, whether or not something is actually threatening to us. That's one way. But trauma also, as we know, lives in the body, right? I Mm -hmm. might know that I'm not in danger or that there isn't a bear walking towards me, but my body doesn't know that because of whatever past experience or whatever past trauma. So the other way to approach approach healing is bottom up. And that's, again, where visual types of processes or somatic and body-based processes can be really effective in reassuring and soothing the nervous system. Oh, so you're saying what, yeah, if you're working from bottom up with the body first, you're trying, your goal is to like calm down the body so that the person can open up a little bit more about yeah. it, and uh, work mm-hmm. through whatever it is they need to work through. Okay. That makes right, sense. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Cause I, I do f- like, I've done talk therapy and sometimes it is like, if you're an introvert, sometimes it's hard to open up or sometimes, sometimes it's just hard to explain things with words. You're like this experience totally. is so so how do I even begin to explain to you? And I, like, you feel like what you s- explain is only like a facet of the real story. 